Good morning. Welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel. Today I have something about the C action scripting inside the WinCC V7 and we will create some C action script for mean value of three values of tag management system and these values will be displayed on our screen. So as you see on screen we have three tags and we have the output by the C action function. Ok, so let's get started. We go to global script and in C editor we need to create a one function and this function will be the mean value function. So we add three values and we will divide by three because we have only three values. First of all, after we create the new project functions, it's always the void functions. So void, it doesn't return any value of our function. We need to return something, so let's create the double mean val. After all, we need to return something, so we will return, for example, mean value. Let's compile. Ok, so first of all, let's return 0. I want to make sure we don't have any errors on our scripting. Let's save and now in our project library we have new function min val. It's important because you need to have the good names of your scripting so you can copy paste between projects. Now inside the brackets you can assign some tags. Let's say it will be double tag 1, double tag 2nd and double tag 3. Ok, so now our functions has some inputs. These inputs are floating point or the double point values and our function should make some calculations. Ok, so let's go to mathematical basics. How we can make the mean value for three different values? First of all, we need to add all, let's say tag 1, tag 2nd, tag, tag 3rd, and we need to divide this sum of this value by 3, because we have only 3 tags inside this script inside this uh, calculations. So if you know how to make the mathematical things you can make the same inside your scripting. So we can make the mean val functions just doing the same. So it's tag 1, tag 2nd, tag 3rd and we need to divide by 3. Let's say our return value will be the floating point because we can say that our tag 1 is 0 0.5 tag second is 10.2 etc so it's better to have floating point anyway if you have some integers you can work with integer so our value it's a internal tag for the mean value function is the mathematical thing the same like we talked before inside the mathematical basics. So we make the sum of tag 1, tag 2nd, tag 3rd and we divide by 3. After all, we need to return this value. Ok, I see I have some errors. First error is conversion may lose information it's because we are doing the double as an input and the floating point is different if we use the floating point and the double points we don't have this error the second error in line 10 is about the expected symbol we need to add this because we forgot about this element. The C action always need semicolon on the finish of the line 
and you need to remember about this. So our function is ready to test. Now we can go to graphic designer and we can create something to test our system function. First of all, I will create some IO fields and the static text. So first one is the tag one. Okay, I go to tag management so I can create one tag and this tag will be the value for first input inside my function. Okay, this name is already used by my system. So I will use something like C tech one. It's up to you. I want to show you this. Okay, it's unsigned 32 bits value. And the C tag one, we can make the output here. And we have some format for the output so we can provide some value dot value. Okay, some alignment and the value size. Okay, I will put also the static text. So the static text say me, this is the tag one and now I copy paste to another place. So I will have the three different tags inside my WinCC window. This is tag second and the value of C tag second and the same with tag third. Okay, so we have our input. Now we need to display something. So let's create the bigger IO field. I will say that this value, this bigger value is the mean value of tag one, tag second, tag third. So after I open this in the future, because sometimes I need the older functions, I can just take a look and see all. I will also change the colors. You know how to make this. It's global color scheme as no. So you can display different colors on your SCADA system. Now we go to output value and the output value should be the C action. Okay, I will make the bigger of this text. So you will see better the configuration. Now in project functions, we have the mean value and the mean value should be the double. Let's provide the tag one, tag second, tag third inside our mean value function. So in C scripting group, I have the C tag one, tag second and tag third. Okay, now we can say, okay. Now our mean value have some values inside. Okay, let's try this. We need recompile always. Type mismatch in argument first. Hmm. Maybe I can use something different. So we will be sure that everything will work. So I will move all data into floating point. So now I need to change the double into float. It will be easier for you to understand and for me to show you this. So we are return the value, Fla value is floating and our function should be also the float. Okay, we need to save our function. We can close this function and we have tags as a floating point. Now we can try this. It's still something wrong with this. Okay, so I will put just the values. So let's say one. 
one, two, three. It will be easier for you to understand. Okay, the function main does not return a value. Okay, so we need to return this our function because we want to output this. So we are return the function min val of one, two, three. So our mean value should be do you know the mean value yes it's two okay so now it's working in static values now let's go to change this to work with our tax so i will create some internal tax inside this output value so it will be for example the float tag one tag second and tag third is tg1 tg second and tg3 okay so now we can use that tg1 is in internal functions you get group tag and you have the get tag float this is the special function for wincc scripting where you get the floating point value from your tags. Now you need to make the same for tag second and tag third. Now I can put the tg1, tg second and tg3. So before I work with my mean value function, I will read this data from my tag system and after this I provide all elements inside my function. Now you see that 0, 0, 0 is 0 and after I provide the tag tree as a 1, I changing automatically and dynamically the output value for my mean val. Now you can provide some functions, some floating point value and this system provide you the exact mean value of these three elements. Of course, the resolutions of this mathematical things is depending of the floating points and the floating point inside the WinCC. Let's check the calculator and the mean value of our system. So I provide the all numbers and we need to divide by three. So we have almost the same, but we have the different resolution of our output. Now I can try to make more, but let's check if we can have the same value it looks we don't have. The resolution inside the WinCC is different than the resolution inside the calculator. Probably we should use the double floating point to make the same. If you want to try this, try inside your system. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you in next videos, join our SCADA world community, it's up to you. This script, this example will be sent by email in Monday. So if you want to join us and our mailing list, don't forget to subscribe. See you and bye.